So in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and having a close up look at what comes inside the box for a Blue Spot Mini 5G antenna. Okay, so there's everything that comes in the box. And the first thing that I've got to say here is that I'm really happy with the way everything is there about all individually packaged as well. So this is like just a little slight bit of attention to detail that I really appreciate. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is just go through all the components one by one. So the first thing to look at here then is the manual. And this has got English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish translations in it. So mega useful as far as the languages are concerned. And at the bottom here as well, it is also making a note of getting in touch for assistance with being able to position your antenna. Next thing is this L mount bracket here, which is part of the pole mount system. And the good thing about this as well, it has got these extra holes down here, which allow you to put the U-bolt in at slightly different angles, which basically gives you an elevation. I think it's roughly about 15 degrees. So depending upon which way you were to turn this round on the antenna, I think you've got 30 degrees in total of elevation. So minus and plus 15. And the L bracket has also got this film protection on it as well. Next thing is the U-bolt and also this clamp here. And once they've obviously been put onto the L bracket, that then forms your pole mount for the antenna. And there's also a bag of nuts and washers here, which connect directly onto the four posts on the back of the antenna, which I will show shortly. And they will allow you to connect the L bracket as part of your pole system. And then we've got these two coaxial cables, which are N-type to SMA. And also with the coax cables, there's another small attention to detail here, which I really appreciate. On this end of the cable, which is your N-type connection, it's got a dust cap on it, so it's got that plastic dust cap. So obviously what that's gonna do is basically protect all the inside there during transit and stuff and what have you. So that's the male end of the cable as far as the end type connection is concerned. And on the other end of the coax cable here, we have got a rubber cap here which protects the SMA connector on the end there as well. And hopefully as we can see there, that is a male SMA connection. And then finally, as far as the coax is concerned, as we can see here, it says X240 3M. Well, I believe the 3M just means that it's three meters. Now the X240, I believe that's something to do with the type of coax or more specifically the 240 is the reference to the type of coax. Now I don't know too much about these things. However, I'm assuming that this is one of those like low loss coax cables. So nonetheless, it is X240. And we also get two SMA to TS9 adapters here, just in case you need to plug in the SMA end of the cables into anything that's got TS9 on them. And finally, onto the antenna itself. And the back of it here is like aluminium or some kind of aluminium alloy. Also, all the inside edges there are definitely sealed as well. So the weather sealing on this looks to be really good. Now we've got our two N-type sockets here and they're females. Once again, these have got dust caps over them. So these plastic dust caps to protect them. Again, I've got to make the point here that, you know, the protection that's come with all the bits and pieces here is something that I really appreciate. Now, I think we should be able to see this here. There are four posts here and that's what we connect our pole mount system onto. And again, those four little posts there have all got little rubber protectors on them as well, which again is a really cool touch. And this side view of the antenna will give you a good idea to show you how slim it is. And it really is very slim. It is also extremely lightweight as well. So I can't see anyone having a problem trying to mount this onto most kind of like poles or anything like that. There's literally no weight at all into it. And then once we get onto the front fascia here of the antenna that's some type of a plastic on there i'm assuming that's just going to be something that's just going to be transparent to radio frequencies and stuff like that and just to end the video a quick look at the antenna on a short pole here I've obviously got it all connected up with the bracket system here. So I've kind of screwed all that together and attached it to the back of the antenna and then onto the pole. And I have to say the whole process is really dead straightforward and dead simple. It is not hard to do. And I will just reiterate the point once again, the antenna itself is really lightweight. So very, very easy to mount onto anything that the mounting system will actually go on to. Anyways, there will be some links in the video description 
below taking you to Amazon where you can buy this particular antenna if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up also consider subbing to my channel and getting all of that bell notification icon I'm David Harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now